Uh, I want to talk yeah. Bitcoin with you. Uh, that was one of your boldest, best calls um, in your track record. You suggested uh, to your peeps that they get in around uh, 600 bucks. Yep. So today's a great day. It's fantastic <laughs> for me. <laughs> Today is a well, great day. Get, yeah, I, I think Bitcoin to me is now a true asset class. You know, it's worth about what? $1.2 trillion, give or take market cap for just Bitcoin itself. You know, over two trillion for cryptocurrencies. Uh, Jamie Dimon of J.P. Morgan came out this week and still basically pushes aside, which blows my mind. I mean, such a hypocrite in my opinion. Because meanwhile, J.P. Morgan's investing in it for their wealthiest clients. So right. if it wasn't real or a true asset, what the hell is he doing? I mean, so um, eventually it, it it will be a real asset class to everybody. To me, to me, it's an asset class. Okay. Do you subscribe? You know, we have a lot of people with, cu- with bold calls coming on for, for Bitcoin, you know, 100,000. Max Kaiser says 220,000 by, by year end. Uh, could you see that happening? Uh, by year end, I think that's pretty bold. If, if it did, boy, I would be happier than, than if I am. Um, I don't know if I see that. I, I've been saying since the dip, when it dipped down around 30,000 a few months ago, that we have a new all-time high by the end of the year, within 12 months, 100,000. Uh, I, you know, I, I'm a buy and just hold. I, I'm, I don't plan on selling any time in the next several years. I think 250000 is very attainable in the next three years. Um, I think it's going to be very volatile on the way up. But it comes down simply, Danny, to supply and demand. You know, there's been, there's only ever be 21 million. There's 19 million, give or take, out there now. About 4 million have been lost. So you're looking at only 15 million Bitcoin out there. Supply is not increasing. I mean, a little bit's coming online every day being mined, but very little bit. While uh, demand goes up. Okay, uh, a lot more questions on this one for you, Matt. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned Jamie Dimon, another uh, uh, hater of Bitcoin. Uh, Ray Dalio yeah. says, "Well, look, the more success and the more Bitcoin keeps coming, coming up and up, uh, government at one point will stop in and uh, and stop it." Do you think Bitcoin can be stopped by the governments? I don't. No, I really don't think they can be. Remind me, did you love gold ten years ago? I think I might have liked it when we were talking. I, I, I did buy on a dip and I sold near the high. And that's when I managed money. So it's for clients and for myself. But I haven't owned gold in many, many years. And I, I know your followers love gold. So I'm probably going to get turned off in about 10 seconds. So just listen, listen real quick before you turn me off. Um, I think gold's dead. I, I think it's, it's a dead asset class. The amount of money, this is from a grayscale report that they did. The amount of money that's going to be moving from uh, the baby boomers and the silent generation down to Gen X and millennials like us is, I think, $68 trillion of wealth. You're trying to tell me that little bit of people that own gold there. I mean, you might be because I know you've, you've always like gold. You're in the gold world. You've been in it. People that I know don't <laughs> care about gold. I couldn't sell them a piece of gold if they wanted it. They, they, they don't want diamonds. They want you know, lab grown diamonds. They want Bitcoin. They want uh, high growth stocks. They just don't want, they don't see the value in gold, I guess. And that's a psychological thing. So I'm looking from a psychology standpoint that I, I know it's cliche to say, but I think Bitcoin is the digital gold. It is your store of value. 